Ready. Okay. Okay. The same as uh, yesterday, not to doubt your players. How pleased are, the, are you with the way they dug in and ground out a, a draw against a very good side tonight? Yeah, good. Uh, obviously, the point was important for us after the work we've put into the. The group to get off the mark is, is nice, so yeah, Nations League off and running. Yeah, we just go. No, okay. Okay. Um, yeah, how, how good is it to have something tangible to show? Because you played four games, you've been competitive in all of them. How pleased are you to have something to show for your efforts? Yeah, pleased, pleased. Uh, defensively sound, uh, shape of the team good. Denied a lot of space behind, which Portugal played a lot in front of. Uh, good concentration in the box, determined defending at times, some, some really good blocks, which you have to do against a team like Portugal. And then when you need when you need a couple of big saves, your goalkeepers there to do it as well. So everybody contributed to what is a, a well earned point. Thank you, Devlin, from off the bench. And there's a big moment uh, right at the end where you're thinking, put your heart in your mouth, you're thinking, here we go again. So some late heartache, it was a brilliant block. No, it's fantastic. Uh, first cap for Nicky, uh, a moment to remember. Because basically he's, he got his a point with that, with that block. He brave, put himself in. I, I had no doubt he's putting Nicky into the game. He's, he's trained really well, he's fitted into the group. He's got good experience at 30 years, 30 years of age now, a lot of games under his belt. So nah, I knew when Tony was ready to come off that, that Nicky would be fine, and he was. No, their confidence was fine. Everybody keeps talking about their, their confidence, but their confidence was fine because they know they know they can play well. Uh, maybe with the ball tonight, we didn't play quite as well as we as we normally do. I think a lot of the the missed passes were probably down a little bit to fatigue because I asked uh, a lot of the same boys to do a, a double header in the games. Uh, but now they. I don't think they lack confidence. Obviously, tonight's point against one of the top European sides is, is going to give us more confidence going into the, or even more confidence going into the November games, and we go to those games determined to get more points on the board. Ben, yeah. good for a, for such a young man to to be asked to go again. It was, was a decision where I was weighing up my mind whether to keep Ben for 30 minutes at the end, like maybe like Roberto did with Leal. But for me, he did so well in the the game on Saturday that I thought it was better to start him and then see how long he see how long he took before he got too tired and then I had to take him off. But the the changes that that we made also helped the team a lot. That's a discussion for the future. It's probably not a discussion for tonight. I think that togetherness has always been there. I don't think so much about turning a corner. I just think about working hard every time we come together to, to try and get points and, and be successful as, as a nation. That, that's what the boys want to do every time they come here. They, they work ever so hard to, to not let their country down. And you, you see that tonight. Help. Uh, you've seen what we've been doing with the I don't know. I don't know because I don't really. I don't really look at fan reaction. Or, I look at the reaction of my players. Uh, but that's that's all I base it on. My, my, myself, my staff, my players. Obviously, if the team's picking up points and, and doing well and playing well, the fans will be with us. The fans are. The fans have always been with us. I, I don't. I don't doubt the supporters. They, they were definitely with us. Nervous, or I think it was the team taking so many late blows in recent games, they were almost 
obviously the players didn't feel it because they, they just dug in and like I say the ground up ground up a really good point for us. The yeah, the fans can be nervous in a game like that when the opposition have so much possession in front of you, you're always thinking that they're going to create a big, big chance. When they did create the big, big chance, Craig made the save, which is the first time in a long time I've celebrated a goalkeeper's save. I was standing talking to John and actually celebrated it. So, so it meant a lot to me and it meant a lot to everybody in the stadium because that's what gets you the point. You have to. We, we spoke before the game about doing all the dirty stuff, the hard work, the, the ugly stuff, if you like, and the boys did that fantastic tonight. Last couple, please. Steve, you spoke at the Dunwoody game back in June and said you wouldn't be surprised if, if you saw Craig crossing back in the, in the Scotland side in the whole goal because he's, he's back and uh, probably got the, the point tonight for the save at the end. What, what does his performance in, in these two games tell you about him and how much he has to offer the country going forward? What I've always said about Craig, ultimate professional, uh, determined to play as long as he can. And, and you see that tonight with his performance, still performing at a very high level for for his club and, and now for his country again. So now we're delighted to have him back in the squad. Steve, how impressed were you by Johnson and Graham and the partnership developing? Yeah, really good, really good. I thought they were both excellent. John obviously playing every week with Rangers, so a little bit more fitness. Uh, Grant, you have to give credit, not playing at Norwich. But comes here and it puts on two performances like that over the over the two games. But I think defensively you have to credit everybody. Tony Ralston, good against difficult opponents. Jota and then Leal comes off and I think Leal coming off the bench was what ultimately done for for Tony's calves. It was just why Nicky got on the pitch. Uh, Andy always steady away. Uh, like I've spoke before about Andy, he, he does a he does a great job for the team. And I thought the midfield three in front. We're excellent, Billy Gilmore, Kenny McLean and Scott McTominay, which which gives you that basis to, to defend well. Steve, you said you first did the kind of dirty side of the job well when you had to, they kept the structure, they created opportunities. Does that even make us feel even more significant in terms of this, this point against that opposition? Uh, I think we always try and do the right thing. We always try to be solid defensively. Recently, we've had one or two little lapses in, the, in certain moments in the game that cost you dear against this type of team. So tonight, maybe at times we got a little bit fortunate, but nobody can deny us the fortune eh, because we've worked, we've, worked ever so, we've worked ever so hard to get that, that little break that, that maybe one or two missed chances for Portugal were thinking they could have scored. But now we worked hard to get to earn the breaks and a well-deserved point. Okay. Steve, just before you go, I don't really have one, do I? I'm a Scotland manager, so maybe if we play them in the future, I'll, I'll talk about Mr. Tuchel. Okay, thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.